And here we're going to show how you can actually use all of your existing applications, websites, and documents without even bringing them into the Octopus software using our glass mode feature. So in this case, we're going to create a new file. And we're going to switch over to glass mode so that I can view my computer background or desktop. And then we can open up any application that we want to work with. In this case, I'm going to open up a PDF file. And this is a sample released test item from the state of California that I just happen to be using here. And this is fully editable, so I can pinch and zoom, and I can scroll around within this document as I want. But if we wanted to use this with the Octopus software, we could do it without actually bringing it in as a discrete object within the software. All we need to do now is find a tool that we might want to use. In this case, we're going to just use the pen tool. I might be talking about the angle of this, and I want to pose a question with my class. I could also go through within the math tools if I wanted. and bring out something like the protractor and measure that angle. And as I go forward in the software, if I click this plus button, I'm back to where I can natively use that again. So again, this could be a website, this could be a geometry sketchpad application, any software, any uh, document or web page that you want to use. And it builds an activity on the fly as you work through it. If I step back, what you'll notice is it actually captured uh, a view of the document or application that I was working with along with the widgets or tools that I used within Octopus. So it's building a presentation on the fly. You'll notice at the top you see this little screenshot icon. That's just a reminder that what we're doing is we're capturing a picture of whatever application you're working with uh, that we can use as a reference point within that file. So if I'm using this to actually uh, generate questions and pose questions from my class, I'm going to need that thumbnail to refer to in the reporting section of the software. And as I step forward and create new slides, again, it's fully manipulable as a document. 